<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Chick-fil-A may seem like a good place to work, but this company's employee manual is pretty thick. So get ready for 10 bizarre rules that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow. Strict nail styles. I'm gonna make his day, and I love him, and he loves Chick-fil-A. Will you marry me? Most businesses have standards and rules they expect their employees to abide by when they are on the clock. However, some people have pointed out that the successful fast food chain Chick-fil-A may have taken its employee policies to the next level. Employees that deal with the public are often expected to maintain a certain level of personal grooming as well as behavior. The exact reasons for these rules can vary, but in general, employers don't want their customers' experience to be marred by the appearance or behavior of their employees. Sometimes it's clearly a matter of health or safety, like when fast food cooks are expected to wash their hands or wear a hairnet. These seem like perfectly reasonable rules. But what about an employee's fingernails? You making your business my business. Not today, old lady. Not today. The Chick-fil-A employee handbook explains that workers are not allowed to wear fake nails in customer service areas or food preparation areas. It makes sense to keep these nails away from the food because they can fall off and contaminate the food. But the reason for not being around customer service areas is not so clear. The fast food chain's nail policy is pretty specific about not wanting its employees to come to work with flashy or gaudy nails that would apparently be viewed negatively by customers. Be polite. If he wants a sandwich, you can make daddy a sandwich. <laughs> Many people have to deal with the public during the course of their jobs, and this includes the people who work at Chick-fil-A. Customers can be a handful, but people who work in customer service are expected to treat them with courtesy. All fast food chains have expectations and requirements when it comes to its employees interacting with customers, and Chick-fil-A is perhaps a little more strict about this than other companies. A little kindness can go a long way, and according to people who have worked for the chain, politeness is embedded in the corporate culture and is taken very seriously at all levels. Excuse me, can I make your day with Chick-fil-A? Former employees suggest that a commitment to politeness and friendliness start at the job interview. Apparently, the little things like please and thank you count for a lot at this fast food chain. You can't really blame Chick-fil-A for wanting to encourage pleasant and positive interactions between its employees and its customers. As good as the food might be, if workers are rude and off-putting, too many customers might decide they can get a chicken sandwich at another fast food restaurant. And it's like the saying goes, you can trap more flies with honey than with vinegar. Clean uniforms. Oh, that is good sandwich. What the hell do you get? Part of working in customer service jobs like the fast food industry is making sure you are reasonably presentable to the public. Cleanliness and professionalism are two of the attributes that most businesses want to project, and Chick-fil-A is certainly one of those businesses. Some employees have said that the fast food chain is a little bit obsessed with its employees having clean uniforms, and this attention to detail puts it on the list of bizarre rules. Employees are given a set of uniforms at no charge when they begin working. They are required to come to work in a clean uniform and keep them as clean as they can. Chick-fil-A is so focused on cleanliness that the company even insists its employees return the uniforms cleaned and pressed when they stop working for the fastidious fast food chain. Feel this chicken in that bag. Just in case an employee forgets about this stipulation, Chick-fil-A has a policy to address this issue. The fast food chain reserves the right to withhold an employee's final paycheck until the company receives the uniform back in the proper condition. Perhaps a lot of people think this clean uniform policy is a little over the top, but don't forget that cleanliness is next to godliness, and Chick-fil-A is a devoutly Christian-owned company. Break times. You ate my sandwich? <laughs> it was a simple mistake. It could happen to anyone. People who work at fast food chains definitely earn their pay, and their hard work deserves to be rewarded with regular breaks. 
businesses like Chick-fil-A are smart enough to recognize this reality, and even if they weren't, there are state laws that mandate that most workers are entitled to a certain amount of break time during a shift. At Chick-fil-A, this translates into a 30-minute break for any shift that lasts more than five hours. Even though they don't have to, the chain also gives each employee a $7 store credit. These regulations don't usually specify exactly when during a shift these break rules must be honored. My sandwich! The people who run Chick-fil-A are smart, and they realize that it doesn't make sense from a customer service point of view to allow employees to take their breaks during the restaurant's busiest times. The company refers to these less busy times of the day as non-peak business periods. For regular people who don't speak in resto jargon, this means no breaks are allowed during the lunch and dinner rush. However, Chick-fil-A tells its employees there are certain expectations regarding their breaks, including cleaning up after themselves, washing their hands, and making sure their uniform remains clean. Beyond, you're welcome. Look at the vein on that guy's forehead. He's gonna blow. Part of the job for anyone who is working in the field of customer service is to be, or at least to act, friendly and polite towards the customers they deal with all day long. Anyone who has actually worked at a fast food chain or in any customer service job knows that this requirement can sometimes be easier said than done. Well, I expect that type of language at Denny's, but not here. Common phrases like, you're welcome, and thank you, are spoken enough to have become almost cliches in the business. People are conditioned to say them and and hear them, but do they really make that much difference to the customers? The people who wrote the rule book for Chick-fil-A believe these demonstrations of courtesy are indeed important and encourage their employees to go beyond the standard phrases. The fast food chain's founder prefers a specific response that he heard while once staying at a Ritz-Carlton hotel. The story goes that when Truett Cathy said thank you to a hotel employee at the Ritz-Carlton, the man responded not with the standard you're welcome, but with the comparatively refreshing words, my pleasure. Cassie was immediately struck by these words and decided he wanted to incorporate them into his own business. This might seem like an overly specific rule, but if you visit one of his stores today, there is a good chance you will hear those words. Personal grooming. After this, can we get Chick-fil-A because I am so hungry? Focus! And yes. The phrase personal grooming potentially covers a lot of ground when it comes to an employee's appearance and what a business like Chick-fil-A demands of them. In the case of this fast food chain, a lot of the personal grooming standards have to do with men and the specifics of their facial hair. Like most customer service businesses, Chick-fil-A wants its employees to exhibit a professional and welcoming appearance and attitude as much as possible. Apparently, the people who came up with the grooming standards for this fast food chain thought a lot about men's facial hair. A lot has changed in the last 50 years. Do they believe that too many customers might be turned off by too much facial hair? Based on the company's stated policies, this seems like a pretty good bet because men who work at Chick-fil-A are not allowed to display any type of facial hair beyond a neatly trimmed mustache. These regulations are similar to what men are subject to in the military, and so they reflect a fairly traditional and conservative view of grooming standards. These rules preclude anything from a goatee to bushy sideburns and thick beards. Different types of facial hair go in and out of style over the years, so this policy will affect men more or less depending on the prevailing trends. This strict grooming policy was destined to make the list of bizarre rules that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow. No overcooked fries allowed. I'm a 28-year-old man. I should be able to eat a chicken sandwich if I want. What people do and don't like when it comes to food is very subjective. Fast food chains try to take this into consideration when creating their menus, but there is just no way to cater to everyone's tastes. For example, some people like hamburgers cooked medium rare, while others prefer them more well done. It would be a nightmare for a busy fast food chain to cook every hamburger to order, so to avoid this predicament, most chains cook the burgers somewhere in the medium well range. Most customers of the fast food chain accept this, just as most of them accept the way their french fries 
fries are cooked. Customers at Chick-fil-A used to be able to get their fries cooked well done. Well done fries means submerging them in the hot oil for a second time after they are already cooked. I'm home. According to the chain, this practice was discontinued simply because it took too long and slowed down the overall experience for customers. For an industry that is built around speed, slowing down is a definite no-no. Even though it disappointed many customers, the decision makes some sense from the company's point of view. However, from the point of view of many double-fried fry fans, it seemed strange. If you insist on having your french fries your way, you'll have to try someplace else. No jewelry. Almost. I can smell cocoa butter and fried chicken at the same time. I don't know about you guys, but that's a win for me. A lot of factors go into presenting a professional and inviting appearance for employees who work at fast food chains. Chick-fil-A probably has more rules and regulations that govern their workers' appearance than most businesses that deal with the public. The company's policy specifically bans men from wearing earrings and having any visible piercings with jewelry. Why? This includes tongue, nose, and lip piercings that some people believe are less than hygienic and should not be around any kind of food preparation. Of course, any hidden piercings that aren't visible under normal circumstances an employee might have on his body cannot be regulated by the fast food chain. The same basic rules apply to female employees when it comes to jewelry. The exception to this no jewelry allowed policy is that women are allowed to wear small earrings as long as the jewelry doesn't have any pieces that dangle down. Another exception to the no jewelry policy at Chick-fil-A is that both men and women are allowed to wear their wedding rings as well as watches. Even with these exceptions to the policy, this is still just another bizarre rule that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow. Cover up tattoos. Name Popeye's favorite food. Chicken! Buttoned-up organizations like the military and many police forces have fairly strict rules about its people having tattoos that are visible. These rules have to do with conveying a professional appearance as well as respect for the uniform. These organizations are starting to reevaluate their regulations when it comes to tattoos since more and more people today have them, so some people wonder if Chick-fil-A will someday do the same thing regarding its rules on tattoos. As it stands now, the fast food chain has a policy that says employees can have tattoos, but they must be concealed while they are on the clock. It seems that since the body art is out of view, the fast food chain doesn't take a position on the content or look of the work. Bye, we're gonna go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, where do you think you're going? Chick-fil-A, however, does take a little bit more of a specific stand when it comes to body piercings. These rules might seem to be unnecessarily specific and strict, but it seems that the fast food chain Jane has no trouble attracting prospective employees. Unfortunately for some people with tattoos that are hard to conceal or have elaborate body piercings, a job working at Chick-fil-A just might not be in the cards for them. No wild hair colors. Because that's what makes Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A. The fast food chain has a lot of rules that govern the behavior and appearance of their employees, and these rules even extend to their hair color. While they don't actually say you can't dye your hair, because you can, there is one condition. You can dye your hair as long as it's a natural color, like brown, black, blonde, and red. These natural looks are authorized, but the fast food chain is fairly adamant that its workers not to dye their hair more exotic colors, such as blue, green, and purple. You guys maybe should just suck it up and go to White Castle. Some businesses don't care that much what color their employees' hair is, but Chick-fil-A wants its employees to convey a more traditional appearance. For some people, hair color might seem purely like a matter of personal taste, but for the popular fast food chain, hair color is one of the bizarre rules that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow. In addition to hair colors, there's also a policy about particular hairstyles. Hairstyles can sometimes be even more subjective when it comes to what is considered an eccentric style. Chick-fil-A doesn't allow its employees to sport what they consider exotic hairstyles such as mohawks and some shaved styles. If your hair is a major source of your individuality and you just can't part with those bright green locks, then a career at Chick-fil-A just might not be in your future. 
We've got more. Just tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. And hey, leave us a comment.